hey guys hey everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you so much for rocking with me um if you're new to this channel hi i'm amilas i'm a final year nursing student at the university of technology jamaica currently finishing my last semester of nursing school so on this channel i do nursing videos of course vlogs and just things about me and if you've been here from day one working with me Wagwan well, people wagwan. Well, well. Now we need to have a little talk because I'm not doing a vlog today. So what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Okay. So from the last vlog, you guys saw that I did consolidated nursing practicum and I passed. You can go check that out if you haven't already. And what that means is that I am finished with the university. Like I'm finished all the modules. For the university so i actually other than major project if you know you know it's a it's this course that you have to put together a research paper you know that's supposed to be dealt with a long time ago it's just for them to mark it and so on so until that is finalized uh, let's just ignore that for a minute let's just pretend that's already gone um since i finished consolidating nursing it means that i am finished with the University of Technology Jamaica and I am eligible for my Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Anyways, but we can't get too um, excited just yet because if you are a nursing student in the Caribbean, there are some things that you must do right in order to actually work as a registered nurse so we have to say what it's called RNR. it's for persons outside of the caribbean i think you do NCLEX especially in america NCLEX is what you do but for you to be eligible to do um R &R, you have to pass what is known as SPAN and this is a practical exam um, that's given by the nursing post of the body that we are governed under. That correct? That correct? <laughs> I think so. Let me hear. So, this practical exam is kind of just like consolidated nursing exam, just like a third year exam, just like a four year exam, fourth year exam. And I'm doing it again. This time, um, it's more strict, of course. <laughs> um, this time there's no it's, it's basically a hit or miss exam if you fail if you mess up you just mess up um for this time you don't have any you don't have much autonomy in terms of you know i want this patient this patient even though we don't normally have that much let me tell you in the other exams we're not supposed to quote unquote choose the patients but the nurses they are lenient they understand so when we choose them we come the morning and we tell the nurse these are the patients that we want and some of them we do we are some of them we switch whatever but what i'm hearing is that for span even though you might choose a patient um they might switch them up by you know whatever the case is so and for span it's more strict of course because you have three examiners watching you not one three you have an internal an external and you have a chief examiner and it's the same setup so for span of course you have two patients you're supposed to do full health etito assessment there's a mark for that um you do medication on one and you do dressing on one you do three care plans each and six care plans for both patients and then you do an oral report all the settings funny enough it's supposed to only last four hours but let's see the practicality of that um so I am going into this exam. Oh, before I even tell you how I'm going into update, update, come closer, zoom in. So my school posted the this the list or the schedule for R and R exam. After a level one night, then posted. I was asleep, luckily. And after four and I get up for that bath, you may say. Why well, my phone and buzz, buzz and I'm one so look into my class group and like somebody dropped the list. I mean I said okay cool cool cool. 
scroll down for me name, cool, cool. This is a name of a battle, we don't want place. The best lad. What we do? And then the reason, let me tell you, I am slated for the 19th of next month, and it's so far because everybody else in my class, I think about eight of us slated for the 19th. Everybody else is gonna be finished in this month. I think, yeah. So I'm not sure why they put us all the way down there, but I'm yeah, trying to say. The night when we see it, I had a, my, I know it's like I was going into a full blown panic attack. I felt nauseous, cold sweat, everything. Because listen, I've come this far by faith. Listen, it has been a journey and a half. I'm still nervous about it. Still nervous about it, but yeah. So that's the update, guys. Um, span list is posted. Uh, I have span next month. Going into this exam, I, I, I don't know. I don't have any words yet as to how to feel. I can't say if I'm confident or whatever, but I do know that I am gonna pass. I already prayed about it. I asked God, and I know that I'm gonna pass. The thing is, what am I gonna pass with? Because you know, your girl don't want 25. <laughs> I know that it's gonna take a whole lot out of me. It's gonna take a whole lot out of me in terms of I have a lot of studying left to do. Even though I'm at the end, I still have a lot of studying left to do because I've been winning, winning a lot of these exams, especially when it comes on to like my love values. And overall, I've just not been giving it my all. From the common nursing school, I haven't been giving it my all, and I know that. If I have given like 50% of what I know that I could give, I would have been out there. But this is just what my journey entails also. I got some equipment and I'll be practicing. I'm going to take you guys on the journey. However, come closer again. Um, I won't be doing weekly vlogs. I won't be doing weekly vlogs um, for maybe two three weeks yeah i'll start vlogging again the week before span um just showing you like my preparation and so on because uh reason being i will be at home a lot because parents holidays and everything is finished um we don't really have any really reason to be at hospital other than if you want to practice and i don't really want to carry you with me on those days and at the gym i'm not really that comfortable vlogging at the gym as yet so yeah so that's what i really wanted to tell you that fun list is out and so i won't be doing weekly vlogs for just two or three weeks just that i'll be picking up back right like the week before and another thing that i think is interesting that you guys should see or would want to see definitely but what i really want to ask of you guys every single body that's watching this right now if you've been rocking with me from day one even if you just find me i'm asking you to just whisper a prayer for me mention my name and by the way guys my name is not amilas that's the name of my channel hi i am shalima <laughs> whisper a prayer for me i am nervous i am at the end of a very a very pretty very special journey and I, I I just want to finish well so if you're watching this say a prayer for me and also for the rest of my classmates of course because I really want everybody to just pass in just one sitting um so yeah after span I'll get a little break and you know preparation for my RENR exam my concert exam I've already um secured a class in which I'll be attending to ensure that I pass my RNR exam which is my license exam and then after that you'll see me somewhere um, working as a grand nurse I don't plan to take any time off I just want to go straight into it um, but we'll talk more about that um, this is just me letting you know that this channel does not end after nursing school like you guys are with me for life <laughs> but yeah that's it that's what i want to say um so yeah 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.